Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, as you can tell, this is my previous save, um, which was played in 2018, February 23rd. Um, so it's been a little while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete it. Yep, goodbye. Now we have no save game, so... Choices are locked. Uh, I don't really remember a whole lot about this one. Um, this to me was probably the biggest blur of a chapter I've ever been through. I feel like Clementine's kind of just stuck in the middle of like undecisiveness and the path that she's supposed to be on. I feel like this is the area where she gets to choose or where she gets her life set straight again let's start episode one and see where we go like i said it's been a long time okay it's basically telling me that it's going to build off of my choices from season one uh, which is pretty cool because I really did this man dirty right there. Save file found. A season one save file was found. You will be n um, you will now need to choose a save slot from season one to continue your story. Choices will be randomly generated for any unfinished episodes. I finished everything, so should be good to go just gotta choose the save slot and we should be fine completed season one play it without it let's do this one this is interesting i love how this game does that it's a crazy good mechanic which i think a lot of games need to follow what's your name i'm clementine you've been all by yourself through this I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. Me? Did you have to kill those men? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! Oh. No. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We... I saw my parents. I can't. It's okay. But don't need it, Krista. Yeah, that season one was heart-wrenching at the end. It was ridiculous. I really do miss Lee. And it's a pity you only get to play with him for one season. Uh, Clementine should be approximately 9 or 10. All that remains. She still kind of looks the same as she did at the end of season one. What do you think? Oh man, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here. 
Omi the second. No. Omi Jr. No. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially the Lomid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. So a radio for bat. Hello? Okay. Rude. So a radio for the bat, you can kind of tell that there is the graphics are, are much better. Uh, judging from the character's look, right? Yeah, she used to have the Brooklyn jersey on. Now she has just a regular blue jersey on. I'm assuming she trashed it after Lee destroyed it with all the Walker blood. Um, Krista is very pregnant now. She was not showing at all in the season one so that means it's probably at least six months that have gone by at least um engaging from season one they knew she was pregnant already so at least a month or two must have gone by so krista is probably i mean krista's probably due at any point um at this stage of the game so everything looks a little different aesthetics look a little different you know you get like little pointers now a little hand and Right there, two hands. Uh, like I said, graphics look pretty good. And the uh, uh, crosshair actually looks different too. It looks like it's four diamonds now, so that's pretty cool. So we'll check the stalls. Someone broke a toilet in half. Gross. Um, trying to remember where that pistol came from that she's holding. I don't... I don't think that was Lee's pistol because he dropped it in the house in Savannah. I'm not entirely sure. What's that? Oh god. It's dead teddy bear. Alright, so 2018, last time I played this game. It's 2021 now. Phew. April the twenty fourth. So it's been no one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. It's been three years. Because I played this game. But I still remember some of it. Sort of. <sighs> See, for me, I don't think they should split up like they've done right here. Like, she could have taken a stall, and they could have taken a stall, and then things would have been fine. Please have water. It does probably not have water. Figures. So it looks like you kind of have to click on... So you'd have to click on the hand. So I guess the spiral will bring up different um, commands every once in a while. Clever. Oh, Clementine. It's another thing, like, can I... Why, why wouldn't you... I don't know. Why wouldn't you take your gun, right? Because, I mean, you never know. There's still other people in the world. Okay, I guess I went under the other one. There's still other people in the world. You never know who could waltz in you in any second and just go through your shit, and now you're unarmed. It's not in there either. The fuck? Where is it? That's gross, dude. It's like right by the frame of the fucking toilet. Ew. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, what? See what I'm saying? Stand up on the toilet. There you go. Now the issue comes in. You have no gun. You have no bag. No supplies. That shit could just walk off with all your shit, dude.
Damn, dude. Fucking toilet seat, Jesus Christ. I see you. That's unfortunate. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. I just chose silence because it said it was a valent response. Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. What's your name? My name? Why do you care? I I was just wondering. I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. I killed someone for it. You? You? <laughs> Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Oh boy. Straight off the bat. Our first death. Okay. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. <laughs> wow, she didn't give, she didn't give any fucks. Poor Clementine, man. And then there was two. Well, technically three. Boy. Omid, though, he could have played that better. He, he took a long-ass time. Alright, 16 months now. So that means Chris has had a baby, right? And Clementine had to deliver it? Oh, shit. Krista, talk to me. She lost the baby. <sighs> it's about over a year. This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... You'll die.
We need to find a group. People we can trust. We've been on our own for too long. Trust? You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Can we make it that far? Maybe. I don't know. We just need to keep moving north. We sure as hell can't stay here. Where even are they? That's what I want to know. What are they eating? A rabbit, maybe? I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Okay. I can try. Okay, so... If my prediction was right, if she was two months in, in season one, and then... Okay, let's wait for the cinematic to end. Okay, so... Uh, find a lighter to relight the fire. Alright, so... If she was two months in... And let's say she was about eight, no, let's say she was about six months when Omid got shot in the bathroom. I mean, she was about eight months in to a pregnancy. Now, 16, 16 months have gone by. It's about 24 months. So that means two years has gone by since um, season one. And that would make Clementine about 12 years old. Just a guesstimate, but she does look a lot older. Two years would be, I'd say, a good guess. Man, that's from the fucking pharmacy, dude. And if they're moving up north from Georgia... No, they could be in Virginia by now. Kenny Duck and Kutcher. So, there's the lighter. What is this thing? A block? I should got a bunch of papers and books in there. And a lighter. A lighter's not junk, though. I would definitely take a lighter in a situation like this. Okay. She does definitely not have anything good in there, though. Oh, fuck. The fire is out. God. This is terrible. So, there's photo and lighter. Uh, let's take a look, see what we got. So, let's take a look at the campfire. Okay, so let's press and hold the left mouse button to flick the lighter, then push the... Okay. What do I do? It's not going. Oh, I have to use my keys, not my mouse. Yeah, put that sucker in there real quick before the rain gets it. Wait, wait, wait. What's that license plate? Is that Better. North Carolina? Not enough. The flames are too low. I think that's a North Carolina plate right there. Let's see it. Yep, North Carolina. Damn. This won't burn. Let me see that again. Can I look at... Uh, no, can't. I was way off. Alright, they're definitely not in West Virginia or Virginia. North Carolina. Let's grab some wood. This might burn. Now... To walk from Georgia to North Carolina, I'm fairly positive that's going to take a while. 
and who's to say that them leaving immediately out of Georgia after season one was their goal anyways? Um, Wellington. Wellington, North Carolina, maybe? I don't know if there's a Wellington, North Carolina. Let's just burn the log. I know it's not going to last long, but... It's better than nothing. What if Krista just abandoned us? She's like, yeah, I'll go look for some firewood. Oh, this is bad. Did she just get caught? <laughs> Grab your bag. Rain's picked up. Oh. Hey. I was going to bail on her. She's not making good choices for us, I don't think. Get Lift. The fuck over here. Now. Okay. Nice slide. Oh god. Go, 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 go. That's no good. Fish. Uh oh. Fight him, there you go. Fuck this asshole. Call me a bitch. Bitch. Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Who the hell even are you? But did I fail that? Uh oh. throw it. And does she not remember there was water there? I guess it's hard to remember that shit when you're surrounded by fucking zombies and some rando white guys trying to get at you. I probably would have forgotten myself. washed up. It probably wasn't super far up the road that we got washed up, but we'll see, I guess. What is this? It's a canoe.
Oh, good lord. That kid's not gonna make it. Where are we anyways? Uh, stairs broke, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, good jump, good jump. Make sure the stairs don't break though. Oh. Krista, are you there? Chris is not gonna be there, Clem. She's fucking like probably dead. What is this? A tree? Maybe there's high high tides. It might have been high tides. Look at the floor. Okay, chill, bird. What the fuck? Dead walker. Let's see this guy. Oh man. Someone impaled that son of a bitch. Okay. Anything else I can look at? So we can take the trail and look at the grave. I don't know if Clementine's is like really lucky or if she is more skilled than she thinks she is. I'm gonna go with more sk at this point I probably luck, but she does become very skilled, I think. I don't think I'd be looking at the sky walking through those bushes. I'd most definitely be looking around in the sh shrubbery. So we're on a trail though, so it's not like we're in random woods. It's a warning sign. Black bears, coyotes, mountain lions, poisonous snakes, and other creatures? Or other animals? That's not good. I'm gonna walk into a damn snake. Yeah, she's got to be about 12. Speculation, of course, but... I don't know. see what's up that did not scare me so that's good this must be the worst position to be in okay so you got the apocalypse and now you're stuck in the middle of the fucking woods what's it? dog Sam Boy, it's okay. Okay, you don't like that. Got it. Sorry. I don't trust no fucking stray dog, man. What's he doing? I don't think I'd pet him in real life. If I saw that dog, I'd probably just bounce. Fine, boy. Where are you going? Wait up. Just like you can't trust humans, man. You can't trust no fucking stray dog. She is dumb when it comes to fucking sound. He looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Okay, let's check the van. 
There's bullet holes in the side, so this has probably been raided. Oh, that's unfortunate. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Good old Sam was their dog. Hmm, nothing edible. You don't want toys? I'm sure twelve year olds still play with toys. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we'd better not wait around to find out. You're not wrong about that. Flying frisbee over here. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. You're saying not to wait around, but now you wanna play catch with this fucking dog? Good boy, good boy. Let's do it again. Maybe I can build rapport with him. You wanna go again? <laughs> hmm. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy. Oh, fuck. Darn. It was good while it lasted, though, right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. Uh, let's see this can, I guess. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, boy. I would definitely try to find a whip, and I'll tell you that much. It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. Yeah. Hey, boy, what's the matter? Shh, we have to be quiet. He doesn't give a shit. Oh, there's this fucking zombie head right there. Yeah, yeah, I'll come check it in a minute. Just calm down. Oh, burned right through. No food here either. I would say that would have been a nice little take if it wasn't damaged. Let's talk to this guy. It's okay. He's dead. Is he dead though? It's a nice Look, knife right there. See the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. I don't think he's dead. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. I want that knife. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? That looks like it hurt. I'm sure it did. I don't want to just try grab it while he's still alive, but alright. Yep. Gotta put him down. Maybe with this tree branch. Stand back, okay? Smack. Oh. Not a bad whack. Cracked his brain a little bit. Oh, he's still going. Round two. Smack. Oh, didn't look like you penetrated then either. This man's got a thick ass head, huh? Three? God, claim you suck. Put some force into it. 
Smack that fucker again for the fun of it. That's better. There you go. Shut up, dog. See, we just have to stay out of their reach. All right, now you get your reward. Let's look at it. Oh, piece of brains coming out. Poor guy. She sure does feel sorry for these people. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Clever to check the pockets, though. Not gonna lie. Let me grab that freaking knife now. There you go. Clean it off. Not on your pants. Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? Alright, let's see. It's in the cooler box. It's probably gonna be Ratchet, though. But. Ugh, God. No yeah. food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything. Not the knife. They don't take the knife. Alright, now I gotta try to figure out what the fuck to do, because. Checked everything down here. I've checked the knife. Um, can I walk to the through the path? I guess. No, nothing. Can't go down this way. No, not yet. Oh, I, oh well, that pauses the game. I didn't know that could do that. There's a box here. There's any toys in there? Nothing there. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Anything in this bin? Trash barrel? Well, here we go. I would just kick that shit over, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't even dig through it. Oh my god. Thank you. Look, a can! Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. Well, why don't you look for an expiration date if you think it's going to be bad? At least you got a knife to do that with. That's a plus. Beans. something I guess I guess you're pretty hungry too back out can I stab him here you go hey you don't eat it all wow that's rude motherfucking dog Where's the knife? Get the knife. There you go. God damn it. Oh. Yeah. Good. You fucking mutt. Fuck you. That's for spiting my goddamn arm and eating my damn beans. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Fuck that dog. It could have been fine if he didn't fuck around like a dickhead. Some people call me heartless. I call the payback. Retribution. Now my arm's all fucking jacked, dude. What if I get goddamn infection? Look at her, she's already weak. She had one helping of those damn beans. What if I never find beans again? <laughs> I 
There's always got to be some dick that comes along and messes everything up. We'll make it somehow, Clem, don't worry. Don't cry, it's gonna be alright. I shouldn't have fed the dog. He probably would have attacked me anyways, though. Oh no. He lost too much blood, I guess. Uh oh. Shit. This is a bad time to get bit by a dog, I tell you. Got my pocket knife. I gotta run. How do I run? It's not how you run. It's how you pause. I can't run. How do I run? No, 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 no. I don't know how to run. I don't know how to run. It didn't tell me. Nah, I'm spamming that cute dog. I couldn't get that thing off of me. How are you out, bro? Just pull the arrow out of his head and reload the gun or the crossbow. It's not fucking rocket science. We never technically run out of arrows if you shoot right. I think, I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? Oh no. I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. Thought the numbers would work, but they don't. You have to use the mouse. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke. This is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! Uh! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see. It. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Any... Don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Just stole normal, dude. Calm down. See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The 
one that did this. What's... What does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Yes, you do, when they attack you. The fuck, bruh? Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she going to say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Okay. Right. Sorry, sir. <sighs> Come on. I understand this. Wow, that were right there too. I understand this skepticism. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about. Ah oh, shit. Boop. Yeah, she didn't get to eat any of the beans. She got attacked by a fucking dog, and then had to wrestle her way through. A crowd of zombies. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Fucking idiot. Whoa, what the fuck? You idiot. Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Kind of doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? I just want to fix my arm to stop the bleeding. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. God, Sarah. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again. I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. I understand you're scared. But I feel terrible delaying treatment. We've got to be sure. <sighs> so, 
What do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. This is the worst idea ever. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. Wow. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But. I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Well, let's see, where else are you gonna go? It sucks, because probably only looks like it's fucking five o'clock, but at least give her food, guys. Jesus. Why are we doing this? Fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer. <sighs> I can't believe this. Yeah, this is a really bad stroke of luck. Alright, so we're in a shed, we got bit, bit, bitten by a dog, we're tired and we're hungry, they didn't give us any food, they won't stitch us up, they're locking us in a shed. This is a problem because it could still get infected, and then how would you know for sure? I guess after turning a night, after a night, would tell you, but you could still get sick from an infection, oh, so that's my point, so what's this? Tons of tools used to be in there. A tool rack. What's this thing? Okay, flash grip. Sweet. Uh, I just want to look at everything to get the bubbles to go away. And my surroundings and what what. Not much left in here. Some gut. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Interesting. There's a weak part of the shed right there but before we leave it could what is this what is this a hammer oh don't let that hit you on the head that's gonna be bad dude what's this life's life preserver so we got a fishing rod i don't i don't want to use the knife because it will break the knife i feel like it'll break it There's a hole in the roof in that shed, too. Look at that. Okay, so I guess we're using the knife. I would probably just sleep if I was her, but, I mean, your arm hurts that bad. What can you really do? There's not a whole lot of sleeping going on. So the option is there. Just can't really do much with it. I need this hammer somehow. Did I? What is this? A table? Huh. Interesting. I wonder how strong this table is. Should the table break? Oh. Oh, the shelf broke. Oh, she is not having a good run. 
God, where's Lee when you need him? Broke the damn shelf. I <laughs> got a hammer at least. Alright. I don't know. I mean, I can see... I can see the point behind it. Is it raining? Oh, yeah, it's raining. I'm a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. Okay. So, worst part is, like, you're in the middle of the fucking bush. Find a way into the cabin and obtain a needle. Peroxide and some bandages. Okay, we're gonna go through the front door because that's the smartest, smartest way to go. I'm just kidding, it's not, but I want to see what happens. What's this? No, I'm not tapping on the window. That'd be fucking crazy. The woman hates me by default. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. Oh. Uh, he seems reasonable. <clears throat> Need your help. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Yeah, but you're gonna get me in trouble. Please, <coughs> I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I bought your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but try not to die. Wow, that's fucking great advice. Thanks, Elvin. At least it's not find a way into the cabin. Okay. At least it's not snitching me though. Why oh, they lock their doors? How clever. He doesn't even look like he's in there anymore. Huh. Trying to, let's see here. Of course. No, and don't try to make a noise about it. No! Don't want to go up, we want to go down. See around the house. Alright, let's clear out of there. Let's pull this board off. Ah, luckily I have a hammer. I don't know how I feel about this new option, these new menu options. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Don't wanna get caught by a fucking zombie with a messed up arm. I 
I would probably put the thing back, but that's just me. House meeting in five minutes. Special. Excellent. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. House meeting. This is a trap door. Let's see if we can use our hands. I'm carrying a lot of items, so I'm probably gonna have to start breaking stuff. It's, uh, I don't know. Either one's a good weapon to have, so. Let's try the knife, I guess. Well, there goes the knife. But, I got the trap door open. Watch out how she did that. If that was locked, there's no way that knife would have opened that. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got a book. She doesn't need to be a part of it. Okay, so we're in a... Oh, there's steps, so we're under steps. Okay, let's see. I know I only have five minutes, but this is intriguing. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in shit. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying we didn't make it. Okay, fuck that. I need to fix my arm. I don't care what they decide. They'll tell me in the morning anyways. If I wait too long anyways, I probably won't have enough time to get my stuff. They've got a nice little setup though. Oh god. Those are some creaky fucking steps, man. Alright, so... None of these doors look like bathroom doors to me. Maybe this will be a bathroom door? Ah, it's a bedroom door. Oh. It's not Elvin's, because this is downstairs. So whose bedroom is this? Take the watch, because I'm a thief. Uh, sure. I don't know what I could do with that, though. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Got some thick pockets there, Clem. It's locked. Oh. Board game. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably more than a board game. It's probably like some tactical map that they're doing or something. I wonder whose room that was though. Alright, so when you come up steps, typically to the right would not would probably be a bedroom. I don't think to the right would be a bathroom. It wouldn't make sense if it was. There you go. All right, so let's see. Um, oh, huh? It's a needle. Could use a needle. The lost needle too. It's clean. Looks like. Wait, 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 wait. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. There's a box of something in there. You don't see that? What's in here? Shower. That's not going to work anymore. Linen closet. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. That 
Uh oh. Where do we go? A linen closet or shower? Shower. Why not? Okay, that's interesting. Now, if it's been two years uh, since everything happened, that means her pregnancy is probably like s close, probably, because she's saying, "Let me have this baby, let it be his." So that means either they had sex. Ooh. Could it be that Carter guy that they're talking about? What if it's his? What if it's his kid? Maybe that's why he left the group. We'll have to find out. Okay. Oh. Shh. You're not supposed to be in here. Can you help me? Please help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay. She's old, and that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we can be friends then. Eventually. That's not a real answer. Sure it is. I just don't know you. Then I'm not helping you. I won't tell my dad you're out, but leave me alone. Wait. Yes or no? Oh, uh, fucking hell. Seriously? Yes. It's gonna put me in a bad situation. I can tell. I'll do my best to try to save her. Okay, so we're finding more out, more about Clementine's age a little bit. I think this is it. Hydrogen no. peroxide. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. Thanks, Sarah. 
Yeah, I'm just saying thank you, damn. Okay. <sighs> better get somewhere safer to do this. Okay, so if she's 15 and Clem says she's a lot younger. Would 12 12 would be a lot younger. What 10 would actually be a lot younger. 11 11 would be a lot younger. All right. I don't know. I just I don't know. I'm still going with 12. I think 12 is a good age. Oh, damn, they did it for me. I didn't have to go back to the shit on my own. I would probably hammer that board back in, just saying. This is gonna suck. Okay. This is gonna suck. Ah, that's amazing. She said it. <laughs> oh, honestly, I had no idea she was gonna say that. Scout's honor. It just is really gonna suck. That's all. Shit, that's gonna burn like a fucking bitch. What if I? I guess you gotta pour it on your arm first. No. So what I don't understand is like. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Now the fun part. I don't know if I would stitch that shit myself. I probably would have just peroxided it and then bandaged it. Yeah, we gotta stitch it first. Would it make sense not to? Also. That seemed easier than it should have been. It's a very thin gut right there. Alright, let's see. Let's thread it. There we go. Now, just like last time. Just how Crystal showed me. How did she show you? I don't remember this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I mean, you've got to anticipate the pain, though, right? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God, she's got to keep quiet. Keep quiet. I understand it's painful, but you got to, like, put a rag in your mouth or something. I don't know. All right, here we go. Next one. Doing a pretty good job for someone who's a novice. Okay, she's starting to fucking black out, dude. The needle is not looking so hot. The game graphics are cutting out a little bit. Is she crisscrossing it? Looks like it. Come on, Clem, stay with it, girl. Come on. Not bad, not bad. That's decent for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Good enough. True. Oh, come on. She's clumsy. Oh, 
fuck off, you asshole. Ooh, that was close. Holy crap, that was close. Get the rake, get the rake. Can you get it? Oh, no. Whatever that is, I don't even know what that is. For fuck him up. There you go. Motherfucking wrestling match. Okay. Yeah, you're done. See you later, pal. Boop. Again? Okay. Still not bit. Still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Hmm. Dash rough, bro. This guy needs to calm the fuck down. They all do. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while... You'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hmm. Hey, brought me cereal. Yeah, hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. I gotta eat. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro. That was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. 
You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... <sighs> we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. Damn. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do now. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What uh, happened to him? Same thing that happens to everyone, but he saved me first, lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? <clears throat> he's a cool dude, that guy. <clears throat> Forgot his name, but he's cool. Pete, oh, that's his name. You're still here. Oh, this bitch. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. <laughs> I'm gonna provoke this hoe. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. 
I don't really care about her. I think her name's Rebecca. Yeah, I don't really care about her. She's whatever to me. There's always someone in the group I have to be a dick to, right? First Kenny, now Rebecca. It's part of the trade. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bark. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Doubt it. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey, why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. Okay, guys, calm down, damn. So anyway, I found that bug <coughs> later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's, figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Uh-oh. Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Oh, he's dead. Ah, oh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Yeah, who's Carver? Also, I have a hammer and a watch. Let's see what we can find. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Okay, so one over there. He's checking that one, so I guess I don't really have a choice but to go over there. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself. What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. 
We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. <gasps> oh my god, my bag. These are the guys that attacked me. Oh shit. <laughs> what happened to you? You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. I just want to know what happens. I'm going to give him some water. Hopefully he'll tell me. Oh, fuck. Me? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. No, you didn't. You got bitten. <clears throat> Damn it! You get your asses over here, both I'll of you! Cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me, what? Oh, fuck. I don't, my fault now. I'm sorry. I don't even have a gun. What are we gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. Bum bum bum. Guys, we thought he was dead. Uh, did you try to save Krista? You and 41.3% of players ran away. Hmm. So most people did try to save Krista. That's interesting.
Too bad I couldn't figure out where the fuck, well, what the fuck happened to her. Did you kill the dog? You and 47.5% of players walked away from the dog. Almost half of the community let the dog suffer. When I did it, I thought I was a bad person. I'm not going to lie, but seeing these statistics, I kind of feel better about my decision. Did you accept Nick's apology? You and 51.1% of players accepted Nick's apology. Did you give the water to the dying man? You and 43.2% of players gave the water to the dying man. That means... 50 some odd, didn't it? That guy... I wonder, I wonder if he comes back. I kind of feel like sometimes if you can save people, they'll come back. And they'll either help you or hurt you. Uh, did you save Nick or Pete? You and 40.4% of players went with Nick. Here's the thing. Okay. So the Nick or Pete thing. I don't feel like it matters uh, who you go with. Because here's the thing. He says he lost his footing, but that's BS. We all know he got bitten. He said he was out of ammo. So Nick is an obvious choice. He's not bitten and he still has ammo. Now, I feel like Nick would obviously be like, oh, why didn't you save him? A, you're a little girl. Two, or B, you don't have a gun. And three, the man's bitten. So he's done for anyways. And they all saw it. You could see their faces. But that's that. Um... But yeah, that was a, that's, I'm not going to lie. It's a brutal start to a season. That's terrible. Um, but I'm not sure what happens when I click next. So if it's the cinematic, I'm just going to turn off the recording because apparently the music is causing photocopy rights, not photocopy, copyright issues. So I'm going to try to get the least amount of music in these videos as possible due to that. Which, obviously, I'm not doing this for money or anything, but, you know, YouTube is pretty weird about its uh, copyright laws and stuff. So, if it turns out to be cinematics, I'm just going to cut it. So, uh, thanks for watching, if that's the case. If not, we'll see what lies behind door number one. Alright, apparently nothing lies behind door number one. Oh, there it goes, it's loading.